you so wise and true when it's my time to go won't you lay me down under granum crowns and i'll be sleeping in the cold below below sleeping in the cold below There's much we just don't know. So farewell with a kiss. Then it's fast for the mist. Till we're all sleeping in the cold below. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope everybody is doing well. Today we are going to be talking about one of my favorite Warframes in the game. That is none other than the Grim Reaper himself, Sephagoth. Now if you don't know already, Sephagoth actually has his own quest. And it's one of the coolest quests for a Warframe in the entire game. And I was so inspired by that quest that not only am I going to be making a separate video on that quest entirely, but it also really inspired me to make this video on Sephagoth and my Sephagoth build. So let's go ahead and get started. Now normally I talk about the passive when it comes to the Warframe first, but I'm actually going to be saving his passive for last and that's because his passive is honestly really unique which means there's a lot to go over so let's go ahead and get started with sephagoth's first ability which is normally an ability called reap but i actually went ahead and replaced reap with the eclipse helmet ability i replaced reap with eclipse so that i could actually give sephagoth a way to damage buff his weapons as well as boosting his damage reduction depending on the light source you're standing in now eclipse is getting a rework whenever dante unbound comes out i made a video covering that rework and if you are interested it will be linked in the description next up we got his second ability which is called so with this ability sephagoth implants death seeds into all enemies that are within the abilities radius and these death seeds do true damage over time which means it completely bypasses armor's damage reduction so not only do you have an aoe damage over time ability killing enemies affected by this ability transfers their souls into the death well next up we got his third ability which is called gloom this ability is broken this ability unleashes darkness around Sephagoth. If any enemies are standing in this darkness aura, they will be slowed down by a tremendous amount. And not only can it slow down enemies, any damage you deal with weapons and abilities against any enemies will actually give you lifesteal. This ability is absolutely crazy, and to make it even better, this is Sephagoth's helmet ability. So if you subsume Sephagoth to the helmet, you could put this on any Warframe you choose. Yeah, Sephagoth is absolutely crazy. And on top of all that craziness, he gets even crazier thanks to his fourth ability and his passive. His fourth ability is the Exalted Shadow ability. When the Death Well fills to above 75%, you can then transform into Sephagoth's shadow. And in this transformation, you get an Exalted weapon, which are the shadows claws and they can do some pretty nice damage in order to actually transform into sephagoth's shadow you need to use sephagoth's abilities to collect the souls of your enemies and an easy way to fill up the death well is to actually use so on enemies and then kill them as mentioned earlier whenever you kill enemies that are affected by so whenever they die their souls are actually transferred into the death well so yeah now that we've gone over you know the main warframes part sephagoth let's go over the secondary warframes parts the shadow starting with his first ability which is called embrace with this ability the shadow extends its reach at an enemy and pulls enemies in and any enemy that is actually pulled in toward the shadow is lifted helplessly for a certain amount of time and of course since the enemy is lifted they can literally do nothing and they just flail around in the air which makes for a great opportunity to get a kill next up we got his second ability which is called consume this ability makes the shadow lunge forward towards an enemy whenever the shadow makes contact with the enemy not only do they deal radiation damage and knock the enemy 
down but landing this ability on an enemy will actually heal sephagoth by a certain amount of the damage dealt and on top of that if the enemy survives their soul is literally ejected out of its body which causes the enemy to suffer from confusion sephagoth is literally just built with the renegon from naruto my man is out here on to his third ability which is called death's harvest with this ability the shadow lets out a scream that leaves a death mark on enemies and any enemies hit with the death mark take increased damage and depending on the amount of ability strength you have will determine the damage vulnerability you get with this debuff and finally the shadow's last ability is called reunite and this ability allows the shadow to reunite with sephagoth so you can transform back into sephagoth and finally we are here to talk about sephagoth's passive the only reason i'm talking about the passive so late is so that you have a good idea on how clutch the shadow transformation is whenever you die with sephagoth or you receive a fatal blow that would normally put you in bleed out sephagoth's body just straight up transforms into a tombstone and the shadow manifests itself during this period where the shadow has manifested itself you have a limited amount of time to collect the souls of five enemies by using consume and whenever you collect all five souls you are completely revived with full health and full shields so his passive quite literally can make him immortal in the right scenarios it's absolutely crazy one thing i will say is while you don't have the most time to actually collect five souls the consume ability gets a huge buff where it is altered to not cost any energy whenever you use the ability and it has armor and shield bypassing damage which means whenever you actually use this ability after the passive activates you will instantly kill every single enemy that's not a boss so yeah a passive that pretty much just makes you immortal let's go ahead and go over the mod setup that i got for sephagoth the shadow and the shadow claws or a mod i got on sephagoth is actually brief respite so that i can get over shields every time i cast an ability and these over shields are actually equivalent to the amount of energy my abilities cost i got adaptation so i can give sephagoth even more damage reduction i got blind rage so i can give sephagoth a really good boost in ability strength i got prime continuity so i can have increased ability duration i got prime flow so i could have increased energy capacity and i got three umbral mods so that i could have increased ability strength increased armor and increased health and yeah guys that's pretty much gonna be it for this video with the right setup you can turn sephagoth into an absolute demon not only can he casually survive and dominate steel path missions with the right loadout so can the shadow and the shadow claws it's awesome but besides a crazy kit that you can set up to be even crazier his lore is one of the coolest in the game and i absolutely love it but we'll be making a video on me going through the tempest story quest again here soon but let me know what you guys think of sephagoth down below as well as my sephagoth build and if you love sephagoth and got a sephagoth build that you absolutely enjoy feel free to leave that in the comments as well before this video ends real quick just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the support on the channel and yeah guys that's pretty much going to be it for me with that being said thanks for watching